What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be ranking all of the Arrowverse seasons. But of course before we get started make sure that you guys like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications and comment any other video suggestions for me. And really quick guys, I'm not going to be including, you know, shows like Titans, because uh, first of all, I mean, I guess you could say they're technically in the Arrowverse, however, they just, they really don't, they don't appear on the CW, first of all, and second of all, Titans, they, they've they really only had one small cameo in Christ's Son Infinite Earths, so I'm just not going to include them in this list. Also guys, I'm not going to be including Black Lightning in this list either because I really haven't seen the recent seasons of Black Lightning. I really haven't seen much of season 3. I haven't seen any of season 4. Um, I've really only seen the first couple of seasons, but if I were to rank those uh, those first two seasons, I'd probably put them you know, somewhere in the middle of all these rankings because uh, I thought, uh, from what I can remember, I think those uh, those episodes in those seasons were pretty good. And of course, guys, all this stuff is my opinion. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the ranking. So coming in in dead last and at number 31, I have Batwoman Season 2. Now, I know a lot of you guys, you would put Arrow Season 4 in this spot. But compared to uh, Batwoman Season 2, I think Arrow Season 4 is at least watchable. This right here, Batwoman Season 2, in my opinion, isn't even watchable. I absolutely hate this season. Like I said, guys, this is all my opinion. Uh, but in my opinion, I think this season is the worst in the Arrowverse. Uh, I really have not been a fan of basically anything this season. Well, actually, Luke Fox is a pretty good character. And yeah, I also think Alice is a half-decent villain. But besides that, I, I really can't think of a single good thing about this season. So now coming in at number 30 is going to be Arrow Season 4. Now, this season is straight up awful. Um, you have Damian Dark as the main villain. He's a pretty great... Uh, the, the acting is great um, from the actor that plays Damian Dark. However, he just didn't fit the season whatsoever. He's way too powerful for Oliver. Um, I have no idea how Oliver actually managed to defeat him in the first place. Um, and I really I really am not a fan of them putting metahumans in Arrow. They really should have stuck with the Flash for all that stuff. Damian Dark... Would have been a better flash villain although he still wouldn't have been a good flash villain whatsoever um so i really just wasn't a fan of this season allicity as usual is straight up awful um so yeah they basically did everything that we didn't want in this season including killing the black canary which was absolutely stupid um so yeah this season it deserves to be one of the worst so now coming in at number 29, I have Batwoman Season 1. Now the reason I like Batwoman Season 1 more than Season 2 is because of all like the bat stuff they implemented into the season. Yes, I know technically Bruce Wayne did appear in Season 2, Episode 1 of Batwoman, but that wasn't even Bruce Wayne, so I really wasn't a huge fan of that, although it was kind of cool to see what Bruce Wayne from the Arrowverse looked like. But anyways, um, in Batwoman Season 1, I like how they, you know, they of course mention Bruce Wayne like multiple times over the season. Season. Uh, they, they, uh, Luke Fox and Kate Kane would always talk about Batman, and I really thought those scenes were particularly pretty cool. Um, they also had some flashbacks to Batman, which was also pretty cool to see. Uh, but other than that, this season pretty bad. It was, it was actually awful. Uh, Alice again, pretty good villain. But other than that, this season was very, very bad. But now coming in at number 28, I have Legends of Tomorrow Season 5. I really believe this is the worst season of Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, I got about halfway through the season and then just I just, I just said I can't watch this anymore. This isn't watchable. Uh, this season was very, very bad. I mean, Constantine's a great character. Um, but in this season, they just decided that like they shouldn't time travel anymore, which I thought was kind of stupid. Um, and then, you know, characters like Nate wouldn't even use their powers anymore, which I really was not a fan of. Uh, Ray Palmer left the show which is another bad thing that happened and uh, yeah, I really just was not a fan of this season whatsoever. So coming in at number 27, I have Supergirl Season 1. This season is unbelievably cringy and cheesy and just not entertaining. Um, the only good thing that happened in this uh, this season was, well, the best episode where uh, The Flash appeared, who was basically the main character of this episode, and that's why it was a good episode. Um, other than that, though, this season is very, very bad. I really was not a fan of this season whatsoever. I guess Maxwell Lord is a pretty cool character, but besides him, I really was not a fan of anything in this season. 
So coming in at number 26, I have Legends of Tomorrow Season 4. Now, I think, in my opinion, this is the first season on this uh, on this list that isn't straight up awful. I think this season, you know, it's it's not awful, but it's still very bad. Um, again, Constantine's a great character, um, but they just decided to keep the actress for Vixen and just have her play a different character named Charlie, which I think was unbelievably stupid um you had characters like ava which i'm really not a fan of um but yeah this is the, the villains weren't threatening at all this season um and you know i guess there were still some entertaining moments here and there but overall this season was still pretty bad so coming in at number 25, I have Supergirl Season 5. Now, this season, again, it's pretty bad in my opinion, um, but Supergirl did get a new suit, which is pretty cool to see. Um, one of the main highlights of this season was Lex Luthor's involvement. Um, I thought he was an amazing character in this season, but other than that, you know, Supergirl, this season, the villains like Leviathan, they're just not threatening at all. They're just not very, they're just not good villains. Um, and most of this stuff was pretty boring besides the Lex Luthor uh, scenes in this season but yeah overall this season still wasn't that good so at number 24 i have supergirl season 2 now i like this season a lot more than uh supergirl season uh 5 and supergirl season 1 for a few reasons the first is because of course superman made his first appearance on uh, those first two episodes of supergirl season 2 i actually really enjoyed uh, another reason i really like this season is because of monel i thought he was a pretty cool character uh, i thought kara was especially a much better character in this season uh than she was in season 1 but then like everything else in this season, like the villain for the season was awful just and just straight up terrible. Um, and just everything else about this season I really did not enjoy. Um, so yeah, this season, you know, is definitely on the right track for Supergirl, but still just not very good. So at 23, I have Supergirl Season 6. Now, of course, guys, this season is not over yet. I'm sure after the finale airs, this season will probably go up a couple of uh, rankings here because this, the finale from, you know, set photos and everything we've seen of that, it looks pretty good. Um, but anyways, so what I think about this season so far, um, I really like the Lex Luthor's involvement stuff, you know, once again. Um, and then just, I like the, uh, the Watchtower reference by Martian Manhunter and I like his storyline during the season. But other than that, this season season isn't exactly bad it's just really boring and just uneventful and I really am not a huge fan of that um yeah this season I'd still say is definitely more bad than it is good so at number 22, I have Legends of Tomorrow Season 6. Now, this season so far has definitely been a lot better than Seasons 4 and 5. However, you know, just still not good. I'm really not a fan of, you know, just the DC. or They're not using as much DC characters. They're just using original characters like uh, Zari's brother and like Gary and all these other, this like random alien chick that they just found. Um, I just, I'm, I'm not been a fan of that. I really, I really like their uh, old stuff where they had more DC characters characters that's those those earlier seasons were just so good of legends of tomorrow um but yeah this season still a lot better than you know seasons four and five but yeah i still think this season went a little bit downhill as you know the episodes went on um but yeah i'd still say this season is just like barely below average so coming in at number 21, I have Arrow Season 3. Now, this season, I think it it had a, a lot of potential, and unfortunately, they did not they did not do it correctly. Um, they should not have killed off Ra's al Ghul. How, how is that even possible? How can Oliver Queen kill Ra's al Ghul? That really doesn't make any sense. I really was not a fan of how they went about doing that. Um, the Olicity stuff in this season, not good at all. I really am not a fan of that whatsoever. Um, Arsenal's a great character. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you know, Ra's al Ghul, after episode nine i just thought he wasn't threatening at all like he just he wasn't a good villain like you could tell he was gonna get easily defeated in the end uh, malcolm merlin just turned into an absolute wuss this season which i really was not a fan of they should have brought him back to uh season one when he was an amazing villain he was such a great character in season one um so yeah season three of arrow you know there's some great moments in this season but just overall just there's they just downgraded a lot of things from seasons one and two so at number 20, I have The Flash Season 7. Now this is undoubtedly the worst season of The Flash. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, well, wait, why didn't you rank it any lower? Well, I actually kind of thought about it and I'd say like, you know, I'd actually rather watch The Forces storyline again than have to watch Batwoman Season 2 over again. Um, because 
as long as much as I don't like to admit it, the Forces storyline was a lot better than like Arrow season four, Batwoman season two, Batwoman, Batwoman season one. Um, and plus, this season also had the Godspeed storyline with a ton of new characters returning, which is awesome to see. Uh, Reverse Flash ended up returning in the end. So yeah, this season ended very good, but started out actually also very good. But in the middle was just straight up terrible. So yeah, hopefully they make a very good Season 8 of The Flash, and hopefully it'll be a lot better than Season 7. Alright guys, so those 11 seasons that I just ranked, I think were like the bad seasons of the Arrowverse, or the like super below average seasons of the Arrowverse. So now let's get into the average slash slightly above average section of this ranking. So coming in at number 19, I have Legends of Tomorrow Season 1. Now, I know a lot of people hate this season, but besides the, you know, the Hawks being very, very annoying, Vandal Savage being a pretty bad villain, I actually really enjoyed this season. I thought most of the episodes were really fun. Uh, I really liked, you know, the, the dynamic of, you know, all the different DC characters they had in this season. That's another reason, again, why I like this season more than, like, the recent seasons of Legends of Tomorrow is because they have, like, actual comic book DC characters on this show in this season um, and then you know now they just don't have that so that is why I really like this season more than the uh, more recent ones. So at number 18, I have Supergirl Season 3. Now, I expect I expected this season to be a lot higher, but then I didn't realize how many seasons of the Arrowverse that I actually liked a lot better than this. Um, this season, it was very good. I, I really liked this season of Supergirl. Um, Rain, as a, as a villain, she was so much more threatening. She was the, like the actual first, like, actual villain, I felt like, on Supergirl. She was, she was a very good villain. Um, and I just really liked, you know, this season, I feel like they were actually putting in a lot more effort in this season and you know it showed but then in the, the last few episodes of the season they were very bad I really did not like those episodes uh, but yeah overall this season was pretty average it was pretty good actually so at number 17, I have Arrow Season 6. Now, this season, you know, the, the cliffhanger from Season 5 where the island blows up when everyone's on it, that was such an amazing cliffhanger. Unfortunately, was not paid off in the way that we all thought it would. Um, and then, you know, the season's villains, you know, they, they started out pretty bad. Like, Caden James wasn't a very good villain. But then you find out Diaz has actually been controlling the situation for, like, a long time. And I actually really liked how they did that. However, I still think Diaz is, like, the, the most average possible main villain you could have in the Arrowverse. Like, he's not good, he's not bad, he's just average. Um, and then, of course, you had that one episode where Oliver hallucinates and he sees, like, uh, the hood. That episode was an absolute 10 out of 10. That was an amazing episode. Um, so yeah, this season, you know, it was obviously wasn't as good as season 5, uh, but this season was still decent. So coming in at number 16, I have The Flash Season 4. Now, I know a lot of you guys, you think The Flash Season 5 is much worse than Season 4. Um, but in my personal opinion, I felt like The Flash Season 4 was missing a key element, and that was like more speedster-related stuff. You know, of course, we had the, the Enter Flash Time episode, but besides that, there really wasn't a lot of speedster-related stuff. It was really just, you know, focusing on, you know, stopping DeVoe and all that stuff. And speaking of DeVoe, I, uh, I thought he was a great villain. However, him, you know, body swap, and all that stuff I really I guess it sort of you know that needed to happen in the season for DeVoe's plan to work but I feel like it shouldn't have lasted as long as it did like I think it lasted like 10 episodes or something along the lines of that uh, with DeVoe body swapping and I think he just you know it should have been like three or four episodes of that happening because DeVoe was such a, uh, a much he's a much better villain when uh, he's in his normal form uh, so I kind of wish you know they changed some things about the flash season four but still it's a pretty good season so coming in at number 15, I have Arrow Season 7. Now, uh, after the prison storyline for this season, the season, you know, it definitely went downhill. It definitely wasn't as good as uh, you might think. However, there were some uh, underrated episodes, I feel like. Like the, uh, the 150th episode of Arrow, I feel like was very, very good. A lot of, a lot of people don't uh, remember that episode, but I still think it was pretty good. Uh, but the, the, what, what I want to talk about for this, the prison storyline for this season was absolutely amazing Diaz is such a more threatening villain in this season and I just really loved how they went about that they should have just made him the main villain of the season if I'm being honest um, Oliver in prison all that stuff was just amazing and that's why I have season 7 ranked a lot higher than I'm sure a lot of you guys have it 
So at number 14, I have The Flash Season 5. Now, I think this season is extremely underrated. Yes, Cicada is not a good villain at all. Both of them are very, very bad villains. Um, Nora is, can be a little bit annoying at times. However, I absolutely loved Reverse Flash in this season. He was absolutely amazing in this season. Again, you know, another bad thing in this season, The Flash's cowl was very bad. Um, however, the rest of the suit was pretty good. Uh, but yes, Reverse Flash was absolutely amazing in this season. I really liked... Uh, as I said before in season 4, they didn't do this in season 4, but they brought it back in season 5, all like the speedster related stuff. Um, you had uh, Barry time traveling in the 100th episode of The Flash where he uh, goes to see Zoom again, he sees Savitar, um, all these other villains, Thawn, um, and I just really liked you know, the introduction of the negative speed force as well to the show. All that stuff I think fit together perfectly and that's why I have like The Flash season 5 over uh, like season 4. So at number 13, I have Supergirl Season 4. Now, in my opinion, Supergirl Season 4 is the best season of Supergirl. Um, and the fir first, the, vil the villain starting off was uh, Ben Lockwood. I really thought he was actually an underrated villain. I really liked uh, his storyline throughout the season. Uh, but then, of course, you have a top 10 main villain in the Arrowverse coming in later in the season. And that, of course, is Lex Luthor. His storyline, even though he appeared in three or four episodes this season, he was absolutely amazing. Uh, his master plan in every single episode he appeared in was, again, absolutely amazing. Um, and he just really made this season a lot better because you find out in the end that he was behind everything and everything just comes together in a very good way. And yeah, that's why I really like Supergirl Season 4 compared to, to all the other seasons. So at number 12, I have The Flash Season 3. Now, in this season, Savitar is the main villain. I think he's actually a very underrated main villain. I really liked him as a main villain in the season. Um, and then, of course, we find out that he's basically the future Flash as well. Um, and I really like Kid Flash in the season. He was absolutely amazing. And this, I feel like, was one of the, you know, the last seasons that had, like, I don't know, the, the magic of the first two seasons. So yeah, all in all, I'd have to say this season is actually pretty underrated, and I thought it was actually pretty good. So now coming in at number 11, I have Legends of Tomorrow Season 3. Now this season, you know, it was Firestorm's last season. I think Firestorm is one of the best characters, Martin Stein and Jefferson Jackson. I think they were one of the best characters on Legends of Tomorrow. And this I feel like was one of like the last seasons where they like actually consistently time traveled, which I think was awesome to see. Um, Mollus is actually a pretty cool villain. Damian Dark in the season is pretty good. Um, all in all, this season is definitely above average. And uh, I actually really enjoyed what they did with Within. So yeah guys, those uh, nine seasons that I just ranked I think are the, the average to above average seasons of the Arrowverse. So now, let's get into the best seasons of the Arrowverse or the top 10. So at number 10, I have Arrow Season 8. Now, I think Arrow Season 8 was very, very good for only having 10 episodes. Um, and then, of course, the last episode was the funeral episode for Oliver Queen, which, again, I think was still pretty good. Um, but in this season, you know, they just you know sort of reflected on uh, Oliver's past and his best moments, and they just sort of, like, recreated them, which I thought was genius. And I thought it was an amazing, uh, an amazing season leading up to Crisis on Infinite Earths, where, of course, Oliver would end up sacrificing himself to save the multiverse. Um, and all in all, I just thought this season was one of the best in the Arrowverse. So at number 9, I have The Flash Season 6. Now, I know a lot of you guys really don't like The Flash Season 6, but I want to make my case for it. So first of all, the first half of the season leading up to Christ on Infinite Earths with Bloodwork as the main villain, we all know that part of the uh, the season was absolutely amazing. No controversy there. Uh, but in the second half, I see a lot of people really not liking the season because of the Mirror Monarch storyline. And yes, she's not a very good villain. However, there was, a, there was a lot of great stuff in the second half of the season, so then we don't have to focus on that. That Mirror Monarch storyline, like uh, there was a Grodd episode, which was amazing. Uh, we also had the, a Reverse Flash storyline during that time. The the death of the Speed Force Kid Flash returning, that was a great episode. Um, and then of course uh, the Godspeed episode was again, that was amazing. So yeah, I really think season six of The Flash is one of the more underrated seasons in the Arrowverse. So at number 8, I have Superman and Lois Season 1. What a first season to start off this show. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Eradicator was a very, very good main villain. Uh, Morgan Edge's storyline leading up to him, you know, eventually becoming the Eradicator, I thought was also great. Um, you know, Superman after Christ's Son Infinite Earths, realizing that he has two sons and, you know, his two sons' storylines, I thought were actually very good as well. Um, John Henry Irons was a very good villain to start off the season. Um, and then he ended up uh, turning good, which I thought was actually 
actually that was actually a good change um, unlike a lot of the other times when villains have turned good on like other TV shows I really was not a fan of it this time I actually really did like it um, and I just thought everything in this season was you know at least average and I thought you know most of the stuff that happened in this season was very very good so yeah with all that being said I am really looking forward to Superman and Lois season 2 so coming in at number seven, I have Stargirl season one. Now I, I didn't put Stargirl season two into this ranking as obviously at this at the time of me recording this video, only three episodes have aired, so it's not fair to me to rank that season. Um, but yeah, Stargirl season one was absolutely amazing. The Injustice Society of America, they are some, they were a great group of villains. Um, the the New Justice Society, you'd think that you like would like some of these characters, but I actually found a way to like all of the New Justice Society characters, and I really just like the uh the vibe of this season it just felt very good and uh you know just all the the justice society stuff you know all coming together in the end and uh then defeating the injustice society everything was just so interesting even up to the finale so coming in at number six, I have Legends of Tomorrow season two. Now, a lot of you guys might be a little surprised that I put it this high, but I think this season was almost perfect. This season was amazing. Um, I love that they, you know, they time traveled a lot, which I thought, you know, that's the best part of the show. I think they tried time traveled in this season more than they did any other season. And just each episode is just like a different time and an entirely different story while still focusing on the main villain storyline, which of course is the Legion of Doom, with with Malcolm Merlin, Damian Dark, and uh, Eobard Thawn, the Reverse Flash. Damian Dark is an awful Arrow villain, but on Legends of Tomorrow, he fits right in perfectly. Uh, Reverse Flash is a master plan uh, to get the the Spear of Destiny and you know change reality as we know it. That I thought was just absolutely amazing, and I really liked basically everything they did in this season. So coming in at number five, I have Arrow season one. Now, of course, this season started off the Arrowverse. Um, the main villain, Malcolm Merlin, in this season, or the Dark Archer, whatever you want to call him, he was absolutely amazing. Um, and it's it really sucks that they, you know, stopped making him that good of a character um, as the future seasons of Arrow went on. Um, and then also in this season, Oliver as the Hood, he's just such a more threatening vigilante as the Hood than he was as you know the Arrow or the Green Arrow. Arrow. And this is like one of the only Arrowverse seasons where I actually think Felicity's a half decent character. Um, and then going back to Malcolm Merlin, his plan to destroy the Glades with the Undertaking, all that stuff I thought was just great. And you know, just Oliver Queen's every Oliver Queen storyline in this season I thought was also just amazing. So at number four, I have Arrow season two. Now in this season, Deathstroke is such a great villain in my opinion, second best main villain in all of the Arrowverse. Um, his storyline just worked perfectly with Oliver uh, when we were, you know, seeing their flashbacks of what happened with them on Lee and you. All that stuff was just amazing. Um, and then you have, uh, of course, Bl Brother Blood in this season as well. He's a very good secondary main villain. Uh, I really liked uh, all the other Oliver Queen storylines in this season. Uh, uh, Oliver's uh, mother's death that was a great scene um, and you know this 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 season again was a, a little bit of, just a little bit of an improvement from uh, Arrow season one um, but you know they're still both amazing seasons so at number three I have the flash season two now zoom is such a great main main villain of course he's got to be the uh, top five main villain in the Arrowverse um, and Hunter Zolomon pretending to be Jay Garrick and you know pretending to be team Flash's friend all that stuff I thought was just amazing even though it's you know it was a little bit of repetition from season one I think it still worked out perfectly um, the flash his uh, hatred for zoom I really enjoyed that part of the season there the uh, the flash and zooms rivalry was especially amazing i really just wish they would bring zoom back sometime in the future but yeah this season overall it was absolutely amazing each episode was amazing including one of the ones where barry goes into the speed force uh that's one of my favorite episodes of this season and uh yeah uh, the flash season two has to be a top three season in the arrowverse so at number two, I have Arrow season five. This season of Arrow is absolutely amazing. In my opinion, is the best season of Arrow. Uh, Prometheus, aka Adrian Chase, is an amazing main villain. Has again has to be a top five main villain in the Arrowverse. Um, his master plan to bring everyone to the island and just how he went about that, I feel like was just so like unique and just amazing. Um, even though he was just a DA for most of the season, he was still incredibly threatening. Um, also, Deathstroke returned in this season. Um, the cliffhanger.
banger for the season was one of the best we've ever seen in the Arrowverse. This season was just absolutely amazing and a huge upgrade from season four. Um, and I definitely think it deserves to be the second best season on this list. And then, of course, at number one, and what I think is the best season in, in the Arrowverse, The Flash Season 1. Reverse Flash is such a great main villain. Um, Eobard Thawn pretending to be Harrison Wells, I think, worked out perfectly. Um, you know, uh, Reverse Flash needing Barry's speed in order to get back to the future. I thought that was a great idea. Um, you know, even, you know, them deciding to make it how uh, Barry, the original Flash, the original timeline Flash wasn't the main character of The Flash's TV show. I think that actually worked out very, very very good and I really like how they did season one just everything about it was just a great even the episodes where it's just weekly villains you find a way to really like those episodes and I think they did season one of the flash basically perfect but anyways, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below as well as your own list of your Arrowverse seasons ranked. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.